Well, it's been one year now since this large industrial fire broke out in Richmond, but that massive fire has left some Richmond residents reflecting on a far more devastating blaze that happened over 50 years ago. Fox 59's Scarlett O'Hara sat down with survivors and a local historian to talk about the lasting impact of both disasters. And we're standing shoulder to shoulder when the first explosion went off. This unwelcome memory comes to visit Jack Bales every now and then. The second one was right underneath us. And when the second one went off, that's the last time I saw Greg. He's never tried to outrun the nightmares, though they bring him back to the afternoon of April 6, 1968, when a gas leak triggered two deadly explosions downtown Richmond, Indiana, reducing storefronts to rubble and claiming several dozen lives, including Bales' best friend. I find myself when I pass his house where he was raised. I think about turning in and seeing it. So. Yet whatever allowed Bales to stand up and walk away from Marting Arms Sporting Goods store after it had crumbled around him, the blast sending an arrow straight through his chest, was nothing short of a miracle. I saw it more as a bump in the road, and there were brighter days ahead than they were. Most people here knew somebody who was directly affected by it, whether they were severely injured or whether they were among the dead. For 56 years, it's been up to the handful of survivors and local historians to ensure the weight of this tragedy isn't lost on new generations. Until on another sunny April afternoon last year, a massive industrial fire reignited dormant pain for some who remember the explosions. Seeing the, the My Way trading fire just keep going and going and going, um, it was traumatic. It was definitely traumatic for folks. It brought back a lot of old memories and, uh, like I say, a lot of concern, worry, stress. While cleanup lasted for nearly a year, nobody died in that fire. But most people in Richmond can tell you where they were on April 11th, 2023. And as the years go by, fewer can say the same when the other April anniversary rolls around. I know it's April 6th the minute I wake up. And it's like the first thing in my mind that, you know, you survive something. That's why it's important to tell this story, read the names, and remember. 41 people lost their lives that day needlessly. And the young people just need to know that Richmond has that part of its history. And in the course of that history, things have certainly changed. Everything was centered downtown. And now it's just, it's just a shell of what it was. New buildings have since gone up here, some simple and almost windowless, but none resembling what survivors felt was previously an idyllic all-American Main Street. I would love to see in my lifetime Richmond come back, and I, it will never come back to the glory days it was in the uh, 60s, 50s, 60s, but just to see downtown shine again. Reporting in Richmond, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.